would just t- yeah I yeah it was along the lines of bring a spare guitar well, uh, or <laughs> suddenly it was like okay scar <laughs> be This video is brought to you by Puzzle Master. We'll hear more about them in a bit, but for now, let's get on to today's video. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and my guests today are a three-piece Vegas rock band that I met at So Belly Barbecue in, on Main Street in uh, downtown Las Vegas' Arts District back when uh, Hal Safar was hosting a songwriter showcase there. They've since performed at more than one of the Song Rare showcases, and I'm there live streaming and um, doing a review video of them on the channel, which you can check out when you're done here. If you want to ever be on the showcase, hit up Hal Savar. Uh, his uh, social media is on the screen. And if you want to be on the channel, like them, or you want me to review your music, whatever, hit me up using the email address down below or click the Room 6 social media link. That also shows you what else I'm up to online, ways you can support the channel should you so decide, and, uh, you know, the like and the share and the subscribe buttons are down there as well, so thanks. Uh, they were formed in 2023, so fairly new band. Their self-titled debut album is out now, though, so check that out. Please welcome to the channel, So Not So. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello. <laughs> welcome to Room 6. <laughs> Clunk. Love it. <laughs> She's been dying to, like, toast me. <laughs> we had an interesting conversation about the tapping. Around my dinner table, it's like, why? Where did it come from? And the research was like, nobody knows. It's just a thing you do. I think there's different ones for different <coughs> areas. Yeah. So, number right off the bat, you peaked, didn't you? I know. You peaked. If you don't know who So Not So is, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Please introduce yourselves. Tell them what you do in the band. I'm Pete, the drummer. I'm Cindy, the bass player. I'm Scotty, the singer and guitar player. I'm Josh, the host. (laughs) So, right off the bat, I want to thank you for coming on the channel. And I wanted to uh, tell you, stick around. We're going to be seeing some performances up in Room 6 after this, including a Room 6 exclusive, never performed uh, live, right? Never performed live, never recorded uh, version of a song that is not on their album. So, thanks. Stick around for that. Uh... I'd like to start these off with a couple of usual interview questions, kind of break the ice, ease people into this whole weird thing. And also, I, I always get interesting answers to this. So, you OG Room Sixers will know what's coming. I want to talk earliest musical influence, meaning, what is that moment you remember saying, I want to do that? Me first. Uh, you're the singer. Mm. Ace Frilly lead guitar. Good one. No one said that one yet. What 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 did you do? You remember like what you I saw? I was a little kid and an older friend. Uh, we were in grade school, and because I'm that old, and the little and the and a year or two older said, "Let's go to my house after school, and listen to Kiss and Iron Man." And Iron Man as in Black Sabbath. The Black Sabbath. Okay. And, oh, which was so scary. It was so fun. But yes, there was something about that uh, Kiss record, Alive. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it blew my head off. And um, I'm a drummer um, that that sings and plays guitar. And I just, you know, there's a drum solo on that record that just blew my mind. And it was just amazing. I mean, just a, I, I crossed over from... Uh, cause I'm a huge Kiss fan. Um, and, but when I was a little kid I, back then I crossed over f- from being terrified of Kiss to, oh, this is really cool. I love it. I want to play music now. It's right. great. And wanted to be a drummer and wanted to play guitar because of that record. And then they took their makeup it's, off and you were terrified again. And I was terrified <laughs> again. And yeah, it was a different band. <laughs> Next. Yes. Oh, uh, well, I don't know, whichever one. Well, I just start off as mainly just someone that just want to play acoustic guitar. So mm-hmm. Sonha Jung, Tommy Emmanuel, just solo guitar stuff. So I play like a lot of coffee shop gigs, just guitar. Then when I saw like Billie Eilish, like in concert, 
that was the first time I'm like, I want to be in a band. And that was like two years ago. And then I was like, I got to search for my band. Which is funny because Billie Eilish isn't in a band. No, she's her uh, she's self-titled. Never, she's never been in a band. Nope. I mean, I mean she I, has a band. I know that she has a band and yeah. she and her brother kind of co-write the music together. Yeah. I know that. But you don't hear of Billie Eilish in her days in such and such band. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. Pedro? Well, uh, just like Scott said, I'm that old. Uh, as old as Scott, actually. Yeah, we're the same age. Um, if I remember one day, my brother, older brother Mike, said, don't touch my albums. You know, I'm going to work. And <laughs> don't he said, don't touch. You know, I, I have them put in there just right. So, you know, I'll know if you, you know, of course, right when he walked out the door, I immediately, I just pulled an album out and um, it was 2112 by Rush. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, I opened it up, you know, and That'll put on the mind. record, you know, and, you know, you hear, you know, and it was just like, you know, bam, bam, you know, those cymbal stops. It was the cymbal stops. Mm-hmm. That's what got me, you know, that, and um, yeah, that's when I, I found out I had to I had I, to do that. You're familiar with Drumio? Yeah. Yeah, online drum training. Yes, we all know. Uh, they had the... Like one of the original drummers from Michael Jackson, I think he played on Beat It or some. I think, yeah. and he 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 had cymbals. He was like, stop, 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 stop. Not even looking. Yeah, and it was amazing. I was like, ah. like Jarzombek. Yeah, Jarzombek. <laughs> wow, Jarzombek rocks. <laughs> so, uh, from there, wanted to now. Now you you haven't played a lot of shows together, right? Correct. Um. Has it all? Has it been so far strictly like uh, showcases and open mics? Yes. Okay. Um, now I know you also do covers, right? No. I thought I Not heard some this covers. Time. I thought I heard some covers from you guys. That's because we don't sound that original. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are. Do- I mean, about, we are talking about doing a rush song called "Different Strings." We we are We've been talking about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We want to play Maybe. A one day. Yeah, so, I gotta figure out the bass part. So at the, <laughs> yeah. at the moment, if anybody wants to see you live, you know, follow them. By the way, all their social media hand, uh, links are going to be down in the description. Follow them and and you know see where they're playing. They they put on a good show, even if it's only for three songs or or more. Um, are you playing this Thursday? Next Thursday. Next, Next Thursday. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Every every 29th. week at Taverna Costera, which is also in the downtown Las Vegas uh, Arts District. Uh, Hal puts on a weekly uh, songwriter showcase inside Traverna Costera, which is a great place. And I'm there. And they will be there at, uh, well, you'll be there be- before this video posts. <laughs> uh, so, all right. Uh, so that that whole little bit there leads me to um, a question that most of us as musicians hate to get. Mm. And I apologize in advance. It's fine. How would you define your band's musical style? Elevator pitch, go! I think so. Oh, I heard, oh, yeah. Yeah. in 1994, I heard that uh, uh, that Foo Fighters first record, and Foo Fighters I went big. from there. I, you know, I was, yeah, I, um, it was at that point that I was so inspired that I just went ahead and did anything and put some chords together and put melodies over it. And I did not care if our songs sound like, you know, who my top dog idol. I just, think, right. I just think Grohl is the guy. It's hard and, not but, to sound. You know, I things. just, yeah. I love it. I like nineties music though. I'm yeah. You know, I'm in my fifties. I like nineties music. So it's going to, that's kind of rubbing off, you know, yep. it kind of rubs off a little, but yeah, I think that first Foo's record really, you know, great. did it for me. You know, it just really inspired to to write stuff and not uh, fret over, not dwell on the whole. You know, it's hard to write a song and put it down. It's hard to just write a song and just go on to the next one. They're just going to get better and better. It's always going to sound like somebody. Right? Yeah, I like that first and one. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, there's only yeah. eight notes in the octave that it we all use. Like, there's only twelve tones. Or and whatever. yeah, like yeah. it's all music is thievery. There's only 26 letters in the alphabet that we use in English. So it's like, do you know, you're going to sound like somebody. The question is, can you make it also somehow yours? And, and what is it, the good borrow the great steal? 
Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. It's I like mine better. All music is theory. <laughs> All right. Um, next. Mm-hmm. Or does anybody else have a different take on what you got your a different take like? on the the yeah. style of the? Are you are you two basically playing his music at the moment? At the moment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I've been there. Recruited, I, yeah. I, I, I have been there. Actually, Pete's well, a very good songwriter well, what himself. I, I like the I like the chord changes and uh, the melodies a lot. And so it's it's just very original. What I like is how the chords of the guitar sound different when the bass comes in. The bass actually changes the whole chord change structure and uh I'm just really into that, and that's what cool. attracts me about the, this music. Now, you two share a, you were in Hallowed Out, right? Oh, Hallowed Out, that's right. Um, that was that was the name of the band for a while, and then, then it became... Oh, that, I thought it was a whole other band. Yeah, well, it became Bad Habit, but it was uh, basically a cover band, um, but we, we were picking, you know, a lot of cool tunes. I remember Hallowed Out was uh, my idea. I had a... I had this whole list of now, band names. Wait, because you just said hollowed out. Is it hallowed out or hollowed out? I think it's hallowed out. Because that's how it's spelled. That so. is how it is. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Right on. And, and I did see Bad Habit in the, the, the history there a little bit. And yeah. I was going to ask, you know, but apparently it was the same band. It's just you're going through your identity crisis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that leads me to the question of where did So Not So come from? Why the name? I was trying to figure out. I I liked this. Uh, say it ain't so. Mm-hmm. It's not so. It's not so. Say it ain't so. And a former member of the group said, "So not so." Yeah, went with it. I mean, alliteration. I alliteration is always good. Foo Fighters. You know. Yeah. And but I, I want to hear Cindy's take on it. I mean, Cindy's. You know, you 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 jumped in, like Pete, and what what do you think of the genre? Yeah, the genre. Or what uh, I mean, you're out. You're because you are the new are kid stay, on the on you're the staying. Band. Are yeah. you staying? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, uh, I listened to their music, and it just sounded different than what was playing now. Right. And it's it's a uh, a lot of the meters are different. It's not like the typical structure, so I have to do a lot of counting in my head to be honest. So it's a good one. Yeah, there's a little bit of math or, or prog rock to it. A, but and there's a little bit of I'm gonna say grunge but what I really mean is like the soft grunge you know you're not coming out trying to be Eddie better you know or you're going like Aah! you know um, you're not climbing riggings to get your microphone <laughs> um, look it up kids anyway so huh. another question I had for you at what point did you have your your, your haircut midlife crisis because <laughs> he had long hair oh, it was only a couple of years ago mm. I it just was noticed only a couple years ago. It went from like down here. Yeah, my bangs were down to here, past my belly button, about to my belly mm-hmm. button. Yeah, I loved it. I quit with doing the hairstyle. I guess. Um, I guess after... a better a better question is yeah. A, a better question is. <laughs> I went. I went <laughs> was it before or after? Um, forget to remember that you cut your hair. Oh, it was after. It was well, well after. Okay. Yes, I. Uh, yes, um, yeah, and when I was in, forget to remember. It was. It was cool to have her hair yeah. hanging around and doing that. But yeah, um, a couple of years ago, I went to the uh, super cuts and I have a picture of um, uh, Johnny Depp in the Dior advertisement and <laughs> make me look like this, honey. And she did. And there was a pile of hair on the floor. Nice. And uh, I, I have that what kind of... donated to lots of locks of love? Yes. yes. I, I, I have that kind of I memory. <laughs> I had hair at one point down to the middle of my back before I met my wife. And, love it. And <laughs> I, um, I'm, I... My wife is actually my second wife. So when I left... I moved out from my first wife. I cut... I, I was like, I'm all right. Some, I got to go through some changes. My mom is 89. So, you know, back then, it was, I had a boy, not a girl kind of thing. And so I went to a barber I knew, and I used to do the, the Highlander thing with the button and the the, oh, cool. the hair yeah. tie thing. Yeah. And it made me look old. Like, apparently, mm-hmm. I have a high forehead when you pull my hair back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have um, a five head. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, and so I, with no context, no mm-hmm. warning, no note, I just got a padded <laughs> envelope, or a little, you know, manila envelope. 
put the hair with the thing in the and mailed it to my mom. So for all she know, I could have been kidnapped. Oh, you know? Oh, you did the. <laughs> oh, it's a cool thing. I'm not but hung I, up on I, my. She hair, figured you know? it out, but it was like, here, ma. Sometimes you see the. It's growing back, but you see those clippers. Yeah. Yeah, you know. I can't well, no. End it. And, and no. by the way, <laughs> I have seen a comment or two think, saying I'm bald. It, it's there. The hair He's is got there. That good old head. I just hair. got a haircut. My I, my my uh, wife one? is my barber. Yes, all of them. <laughs> but um, I digress. Cindy. Yeah. Yeah. Any. You were a pharmacy intern. How'd you know? How'd you know? That's what I do. Homework. Any guys. secrets of, of the pharmacy world that you maybe people should know about? Uh, we don't like being asked your medical questions for free all the time. Mm. I get asked a lot of questions all the time. Or, yeah. Can you look at this? Yeah. What about uh-huh. this? How do you feel about that? I got this growth. <laughs> yeah. Like, Excuse how do you feel me. about vitamin C? Yeah. For Does this, this look infected to yeah. you? Yeah, Excuse I might go me, see I'm your doctor. doctor. I count pills. Yeah. I, I count pills. That's what I do. It's, yes. I want a free doctor's appointment here. Yes. <laughs> right. All do the time. Think about, uh, there you go. Yeah. Um, and I, I, my mom is actually a, a retired respiratory therapist, and so I kind of understand that. She got that all the time. Um, so that was, was that a college thing? Yes. I'm a, now, I'm, now I've graduated from that. Yeah. I, I know because you, you you posted goodbye badge or something like that. Uh, I did, yeah. So I was just wondering, at, um, like like how old were you when you were in it? It was college age. Uh, probably like twenty something. Okay. Like twenty twenty two. And so, I but I was wondering. I was like, are there is, is there some secrets people need to know? Like in the pharmacy world, like this is just as good as this or whatever. But we won't go in there. We oh won't. yeah. Just, yep. Um, can we talk about the stew crew? Stew crew. Stu crew. Oh yeah, so I was a resident advisor for a dorm in college mm-hmm. yeah, for like three to four years. Narc, the RA. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you did your research. Yeah. What's the <laughs> uh, having lived in a dorm and and dealt with an RA or two, two times? What's the worst like RA moment you had where you had like? What's the one that you you just were like, don't do it. <laughs> Someone told me they had like a pet snake or something. I might, I'm, I'm gonna pretend that you didn't say that. Yeah, thanks told. for the salmonella. And then, yeah, yeah, we we also like do room checks. I'm like, how about you like take that out and then put it back in? Like, did they have it in a? Yeah, in like a container. Okay, like, they have it in like a, tank? A, a, a cage or whatever. Terrarium? Terrarium? No. Terrarium? Yeah. yeah. I for, I forget what it is. A snake I might, enclosure. Yeah. I might take that out and then take it back in. I don't care. Yeah. I literally don't care. Well, you take it out and take my pictures and then put it back in. Yeah. Or do what you got. I guess do. it's better than spiders. <laughs> yeah, I've seen uh-huh. some weird other stuff, but you know. Were the snakes poisonous? Oh, I don't know. I Was it snakes know. or one? I didn't. I didn't inquire. You're like, yeah. I don't don't, don't ask. Don't tell. <laughs> All right. Yeah, get out. Great, Peter. Oh. You've been hallowed out, and mm-hmm. bad habit apparently. Yes. Musically, and also more from a uh, drumming, pers- from a, a like a rhythm perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay. How does So Not So compare to Santa Muerte or A Sense of Gravity or Hallowed Out? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, those are like three different things for sure. Because um, a lot of times we, we, we tend to end up in the same kind of outfit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. They're like, well, I'm, this is what I'm good at or whatever. But a lot, and also times you can stretch yourself. So I was wondering, I don't know any of those mu- the music for those other than So Not So. Right. I, I've done like a lot of things <laughs> that I was comfortable with, but then I liked kind of stepping out of the box, so right. to speak, and, you know, stretching my skills to, you know, if I'm, I want to play four on the floor, you know, I want to play just, <clears throat> you know. Now, is a sense of gravity like more jazz? <clears throat> well, a sense of gravity was a... It's a great band frog, name, by the way. It was a... Progressive metal okay. bands. So. I was like, it's either pro- prog or it's yeah. jazz. <laughs> and so that was kind of extreme in that, you know. Extreme. Yeah. 13, 16 mm-hmm. time signatures, you know, or mm-hmm. whatever. You know, I mean, stuff, yeah. stuff like mm-hmm. that. So Don't try to get your attention because you're busy counting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and um, you, you know, that's, that's kind of stuff I grew up with. You know, like, you know, I told you how I started with Rush. You know, it didn't stop there. It was, you know, Yes, Gentle Giant. Right, um, and then I got into metal and you know Metallica and Meshuggah and uh, bands like that, and you know, and so I have a really 
wide taste of music and um, and I, I wanted to get into that you know and I did that and then I wanted to do something different after that I wanted to you know be in a drive through which was a like an alternative band drive through yeah, yeah it was a, an alternative band in Washington where it was just real kind of laid back and it was alternative and it was you know just completely different than you know it was in four four. You know, it was just you know, it was like it was you know, and I'm like, oh, you know, I, I can I can get into this because it's it's different than what I've been doing. And I guess that's just in my nature that I like to kind of change change it up. Right on. Yeah. Um all right, one more question for you and then we're gonna we're gonna take a little break here. Okay. Can we see the lemon tattoo? Oh yeah, absolutely. He, he, <laughs> now was she your wife at the time? Uh, no, so um, this is my granddaughter. So All right. Oh, know, I I thought it was your wife yeah. you got the tattoo with. Oh yeah. Oh, it is. No, my wife has this tattoo. Um, but what this is is um, this is my granddaughter because you know at certain stages of pregnancy, you know, okay. the size of a lemon. And so my wife would keep calling her lemon even before she okay. was born. Okay, I was going to ask why is it why? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're on a date. Let's get a tattoo together. Let's get a lemon. Right. <laughs> it's just a uh-huh. weird, weird yeah, phrase. So that, that is a, uh, my granddaughter, and she was a lemon at the time, and mm. we called her lemon. That's and, funny. Uh, my uh, my sister in law, when my wife was pregnant, my sister in law called my soon to be kid uh, a grumpy bump, and that <laughs> or a baloney muffin. Because, you know, you have, a, you have a bun in the oven, we have a, a muffin in the oven. Of course, it's full of bologna. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, right on. Hey. Stick around. Like I said, we're going to see some more interview, but also we're going to see them perform upstairs, including that uh, Room 6 exclusive. But for right now, I'm pretty empty, so I think we need a booze break, and we need to hear a message from future Josh. Booze break! And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. If you're like me, you enjoy the occasional brain stretch as a break from the mundane of everyday life or a way to undo the damage that social media can do to the old gray matter. The other reason I enjoy puzzles is because I have a history of Alzheimer's in my family and I'd really like to avoid that particular problem. Puzzles provide exercise in memory and have been shown to improve short-term memory. Fortunately, Puzzle Master is here to help. Puzzle Master carries a large selection of brain teasers made from wood, wire, metal, plastic, paper, and foam. In addition to these, they carry boomerangs, chess, board games, and much more. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off any order by entering the coupon code 10 dash off. That's 10 hyphen off at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping the channel. Thanks to Puzzle Master for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. We're back! And if that sponsor spot interested you at all, please click the link down below. You'll save some money. I'll get some money. It's a win-win. And if you're just joining us, what are you doing jumping in the middle of a video? With So Not So, stick around. We're going to be seeing them perform upstairs, including a never-before-seen Room 6 exclusive original song that is not on their album. Um, let's change directions a little bit. Now, of the shows you have played, because you're still fairly new, haven't done any like shows outside of the showcases or open mics, right? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna, I'm going to expand this question beyond that. Now, you've played another act too, right? Uh, it's just solo stuff. Okay. So for all of you, I normally ask, in this act, but I'm going to expand it to your life. What is your favorite show memory? And by that, I mean, what is that moment you're, you're at a party or whatever, and, and you're just like, oh my God, this one time, and it could be where things went off the rails, or you checked off a rock star wish list thing, or, you know, drummer went to jail, or whatever, you know? Hmm. Hit him with it. Oh, wow. Jeez. Next. So bold and expansive, <laughs> but the one that. You're only four years older than me, pal. You said you said anything goes, and this yeah. one band I was in, and this one West Coast tour, and this one Los Angeles dingy little bar, and then and the gig it was great, and the next day after I cleaned up 
the car of my mess <laughs> of driving away, okay. I was bragging about how hot that bartender was, and oh, I was so great hanging with her. Oh, no. And the boys were like, "I don't, I, oh. I, I, I think your pronouns wrong. I think it. I, I, I know. I don't think that that was a woman, Scotty. I'm not that there's anything wrong with." If you want to be with a man, but I don't, and I was like, no way. And, oh, you were all over, you were all over it, but it was fun. I love and how he was, did that. No way. <laughs> that's a West Coast <laughs> tour of sleep on the couch and yeah. just, it was that kind of thing where you just, let's go on the road. And yeah, but that was a particular show of, of right like, what? Where did that come from? Sex, you said rock and you said I could be rated R if I wanted to. Yeah. Next. <laughs> it wasn't quite R, but. Oh, then you, PG. Well, me? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh boy. See, I can't think of. I was trying to think of something. Um, I think my favorite memory was it was a fail because <laughs> it was a, it was that band that a sense of gravity who who was there. We just got this new in-ear monitoring system, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, we, we, you know, we're we're trying to like get everything together, and um, we're at this gig, and um, we just could not get it right with the sound guy, and uh, we were that band that ended up playing like two songs that night. Oh no! Because we wasted so much time to. And you weren't the, the headliners, sound together. right? I think we may have been. But you were the last act. Yeah, I mean, but like, I think there was even an article written about it in the paper, oh, the, paper the local paper, you know, and uh, local band just, ruins show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only yeah, local band only plays two songs at a show, you know. So it was that's something funny. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my right my story. That's fine. Well, I guess it's just me. Uh... Well, it's kind of recent. I was invited by like another band to like open for them, just like a solo act. And before, I would just play like you know acoustic guitar, um, just by itself. But I was like, ah, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll sing a couple of times. And then we found out that the act behind me didn't show up, so they're like, keep on playing. I'm like, oh, and it's like a dingy <laughs> dive bar. So you can, can you imagine like good coffee shop music yeah, playing yeah, yeah. at a dive bar? And yeah, there's like there actually so many people coming in. So I just kept on playing and playing, and playing. I played for like probably 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, just like guitar music. And they actually stayed and then they figured out like, you know, they can play like house music to like, you know, cut the, you know, transition in time to like another band. But it was kind of cool that people came up to me afterwards like, hey, that was cool. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Right people like uh, coffee shop music and a digi dive bar that had smoke everywhere. I remember uh, the first, the first like major concert I went to, it was my first band actually. Uh, and we, for whatever reason, this band... We're like, hey, uh, this is in San Diego. They're like, hey, let's go to the San Diego State's Open Air Amphitheater. Let's go see this show. It's, uh, if, if it wasn't free, it was really cheap. Like cheap enough that, you know, I could afford it at the time. Uh, and these kids, the, I was 22 and they were all like 19, 18. So it couldn't have been that expensive. And it was, uh, Spin Doctors were headlining. Cracker was opening. And in the middle, you had Gin Blossoms. So, 90s. <laughs> and, um. I got, there's various little funny bits from that, but the act in between, the opening, the, the guy who was, kept it all going was just some some guy out there with dreads and a, a djembe and just oh. doing like, you know, it's a marvelous night for Romunda. He was the best part of the whole show because he, he just somehow held it down all by himself. And uh, I mean, the bands came out and they played what you expected, but the amp, it, was, it wasn't even half full, this amphitheater. So it really felt like, th- this is sound check. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of thing. I digress. So, <laughs> it's a good vibe. Right? So, a couple more questions, and then we're going to get upstairs to room six and watch them perform. Um, we got everybody, right? For the last question? Mm-hmm. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. So, from there. Yeah. Well, we didn't get Chloe yet. My dog. What do you think, Chloe? Chloe? My dog, who's a good girl. Ooh, she's the good. goodest of girls who ate her dinner. She ate her dinner. Yes, she did. <sighs> We're all, we're grown ups. <laughs> so, from there, I wanted to ask, um, what's next on the horizon for So Not So uh, in terms of like shows where you're getting paid to play? 
what a concept. Uh, Is there anything in the works? Uh, yeah, well, mm-hmm. we're trying to get on shows where we, we get paid for them. I mean, that's that's the ideal. <laughs> but are you work? Is there anything happening yeah, in this, in this, town, out of town? This, this is the one. This person is uh, the leader of the band. There's always that one person uh, who who does all the stuff. She's handling the. Yeah, we're sending out applications. I have some we have a couple of bands outside of state, but we want to you know if they give us a show, we want to you know give right. them back a show too. And having an album really helps. It does having like something product, that yeah. they can play, um, and hopefully you're getting some good. Um, shots or, or footage from the, the showcases that you're playing. Oh, yeah. So you can say, here's what we are actually on stage and here's how people respond. Because, you, you know, you can have the best sounding recording. They don't know what you're going to do when you get there. Mm-hmm. She's a good networker and I'm mm-hmm. not. Right. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Right on. Yeah. So. Um, and so, yeah, it's the basic maybe answer can't... of, yeah. yeah. We're, yeah. we're, we're just going to shows, meeting other bands, seeing what the scene's like. I feel like, you're, I feel like you guys would probably do well on like a college tour. Maybe go mm-hmm. play at Switzu. Yeah, mm. maybe. Yeah. Mm. We could just go Bulldogs. We just go right on the in the UNLV campus and just set up. Right mm-hmm. the yeah. Well, I mean, you might want to clear it with somebody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Touched it. Do but not the, touch it. Yes. I uh, I just wanted to say uh, during the interview, I wanted to mention when we were on a break, but I wanted to to, to make it clear that um that that I I. I did start this group. I did start the songs. I have these songs, and I'm getting it rolling. And I, I wanted to thank Cindy and Pete for just, oh, you know, oh. you know, being playing my songs for now. And I'm just getting the ball rolling. And like I said, these guys are amazing musicians. And I've asked countless times. You know, I know Pete's got a bunch of songs and. Cindy's got ideas and you know I'm just sort of getting things started and this is going to be a cool kind of thing where we're all you know writing and right. and getting stuff going I've on. lived that exact thing where you get a band together ostensibly to play your music mm-hmm. because you haven't written any stuff but as soon as you start writing stuff together suddenly it's a whole other thing mm-hmm. and yeah I, I went from the Joshua Courtright band to the suspense, like okay, we're writing music mm-hmm. together now. It's not my band. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not. I don't have that big of an ego. <laughs> and it's going to open up to that, you know, because the sky's the limit, you know, because yeah. some of the some of the tunes on the album had a, a, a couple songs had collaboration, and for, to what Josh just said, that's that's really huge. You know, you'll have an idea, you'll have an idea, and you'll present it to your bandmate, and you and well, you're just writing it. It's just a draft, and that band member, a bass player or somebody, like mm, I'm hearing this, and I do. and it's cool. I never heard it like that, and like you said, it kind of changes it yeah, in a good way, you know. And so, thanks, you guys are like-minded no, thank individuals. You. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Mutual thanks, admiration. Josh, for having us. I mean, this is an amazing thing that that he's doing here, and uh, you know, and Hal as well. Yeah. You know, thanks to Hal. Yeah. For, Shout out to Hal. Bring it on off. Shout out, on. shout out to the venues, like, <laughs> to Verna and uh, 18 Ben. Okay, last question. You made it. Yay. Take your place, bud. Oh, sorry. So much. You're not mess straddling with, the corner. Don't you mess with my show. <laughs> <laughs> my, my producer gets mad. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting a little... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we can keep going. <laughs> so, well... One more question, and you, you OG Room Sixers, any of you that have been watching these interviews for a while, you know what's coming. I ask this of all my prey. We're going to circle back to that earliest musical influence question. We're going to talk to little you. Okay? Really what this is geared towards is, let's talk to like new musicians. Someone who comes up and says, how do I be like you? Uh, uh, basically, if you can jump in a time machine and go back and tell yourself one thing, that, hey, you're going to need to know this. What would that one thing be? And don't say change your strings. Teach the children's. <laughs> Anybody? Be prepared. Okay, Boy Scout. I mean, I'm an Eagle Scout, so yes, be I'm with prepared. you. There, but but be when, prepared. What, what do you mean? Can you explain? Uh, it's be prepared artistically and uh, technically. Okay. As as you as you will. Um, and it, and just you know, I I don't mean this saying to sound negative, but 
you hope for the best and you expect the worst. You know, when it, with experience, you you anything can happen, and you and you just want to go and play your songs and you know and have a good time, and you, and you bring your your art to the thing, right. and yeah, we're just we're just to, yeah, I yeah, it was along the lines of. Bring a spare guitar, well, uh, or <laughs> suddenly it was like, okay, Scar. Uh, don't salute me, Disney. So, next batter up. Don't mess with Disney. No, no, We've already done that on this channel. <laughs> Cindy got a better. Oh, uh, just have fun with it. Um, for like ten years, I played guitar, and I just wanted to be a guitar player. Mm -hmm. And then life happened, and work and stuff, and I gave up playing music for a couple years. And I'm like, oh, I'll pick a bass because it's so I need a bass player. And ever since I picked a bass, now I play drums and if you're, keys. And... Yep. If you're a bass player, you will never want for work. And yes. if you're a drummer with a place to, to play, yeah. you'll also never want for work. It's because it's still got its quality of drums. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I actually didn't ask my usual question for drummers. How many kits do you have and which one's in your living room? <laughs> oh, yeah, none in my living room, but uh, I have a few kits. Yeah. Drum whores. <laughs> I mean, gear horse. Uh, so, so what? What's your message to little you? Um, I think Anthony Kiedis said it best. Oh wow! He says, "If you want to make music your life, then make music your life." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't say any any, any of those. Mm. I couldn't say any of them better than my, than that. Mm. So there you go. Stick around. We're gonna see them upstairs in room six. We're gonna hear that exclusive song. And we'll be right back for the outro. So in the meantime, temporarily say goodbye, guys. Temporary goodbye. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> See you in a bit. This is dead time.
time See me Keep my days alive In the nick of time Free me From the wake of This is called Pacemaker.
this life leads to die It's because I can't fall so oh, What stirs within them not Take this to This is called Not the End, an exclusive brand new number, not on our record. Room six exclusive. That's right.
want to thank So Not So for coming on the channel. It was a great interview and an awesome performance. If you want to know more about them, hit those social media links down in the description and follow them. Come to see, you know, see them perform. It's amazing. And also, don't forget to check out their live, their, uh, sorry, their debut album. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Click over there and don't forget to hit the bell. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there next to that guy. Remember to be amazing like my shirt says, available at room6.shop. And we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Ba -da -ba -ba mm. Mm. Too late. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.